Hi guys, my name is Rahul from Team Cloudy ML. Welcome to this session. So today we are going to take a Python interview problem statement asked in Oracle interview. So what the problem says is that you have three lines, three input lines. The first line contains the integer n, which shows the length of the list we are going to have. Next line consists of uh, same number of elements separated by space. Uh, with uh, I, basically we are taking the input of lowercase English letters which denotes the element of the list and the third line takes the number of uh, elements we are going to have in a in a tuple basically pair of tuples so basically denoting the number of indices to be selected and the output we want is the probability that each pair of tuple have at least one letter B in it so basically this is a problem statement of probability and you have to do this using coding. So, so for example, let's say I'm taking four elements in a list and elements are B, B, C, D and I'm saying that number of indices I want to choose is two, the probability output should be 0 0.833. Let me show you how. So let's say I have taken four uh, elements B, B, C, D in a list let me show you the pair pairs also what we are going to have if i say the first element is index one and then second is two three four these will be the pairs so let me show you uh, the probability uh, basically the pairs will be b and then b since it's one comma two and then it will be one comma three which is b comma c and then it will be uh, 1 comma 4 b comma d b comma d so this will be the third tuple and the fourth will be 2 2 comma 3 which is b comma c and then it will be uh, 2 comma 4 b comma d and then last tuple pair will be 3 comma 4 3 c comma d <clears throat> so you can see that uh, we have these six tuples pair of two two elements here and uh, if i ask you just to do it manually how many tuples have at least one b in it one two three four five you can see that five and out of uh, how many six so you can just simply see that the probability will be 0 0.833 here. Now you just have to do the same thing using Python coding. And here's the method. And I'm gonna show you this by breaking it down. So if you know a little bit of Python, you know that what this line of code does, input. It just takes an input in the string format and I'm saying int. So it will just convert uh, it into int. So I still I'm just going to show you by printing it down what it will print. If I run this line of code, so you can see that if I say four, it will print four. <clears throat> That's what it does. And the first line of this import combinations, what it will does, it will help me to make these pairs, which I did it manually here. It will help me to do this job. So I will show you line by line. So let's say I want to see what the second line of code does input dot split. So here what it will does is dot split method basically uh, split my input input and put the each element in a list. So if I am saying I, I want to have four elements and let's say B, B, C, D, these are my four elements in the list it will split on space since I'm giving space here. It will split elements on space and put all of them in a list here. Now suppose, suppose uh, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to split on space. I want to change it. So I can just simply pass. I want to split on comma or dot or hyphen, which you have the option to do it. Just check its documentation once. Um, you will understand it. So this is what my second line of code does. Let me show you uh, like third line you understand it's similar like n. It will just tell me, uh, okay, I want a pair of tuples of three elements, two elements, one element, or not one element actually, 
फोर एलिमेंट फाइव एलिमेंट सो दैट्स वट इट डज सो नाउ द मेन लाइन इज द फोर्थ लाइन विच इज यूजिंग द कॉम्बिनेशन मैथड सो लेट मी शो यू वट दिस लाइन ऑफ कोड डज सो दिस इज द वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग कोड यू कैन यूज इट ऑन एनी अदर कोड हाउ इट इज वर्किंग बाई प्रिंटिंग इट स्टेप बाई स्टेप एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू हाउ इट्स हैपनिंग सो लेट मी शो यू हाउ कॉम्बिनेशन वर्क हेयर it's very simple let's i have four elements again i'm saying b b c d and i want a pair of tuples like two two elements so it will give me all the pairs which i did it here already to show you it did this job in just one line of code i i passed uh, the first element uh on which uh, i want to make pairs and second element uh how many ele elements i want in a pair of tuples so this is how it worked up to this point let me show you uh why we are using filter here filter i'm using here because i want those pair of tuples where there are there is at least one b and then to filter that i have used this function lambda where i'm saying hey i want those pair of tuples where there is a b in it so that's what it is doing let me show you by printing f so right now i'm not taking this into a list so let's see what it does you will see that it may not give me proper output i may need to store this in a uh, iterable so you can see that it is doing the same what i thought it is saying that filter object at this location so to get this i need to put this into an iterable so you will see that now i will get the proper output four elements b b c d i want a pair pair of two you can see that now i got the output so here you saw uh, our pairs total pairs were six tuples in a list now when i said that i want only tuple having at least one b in it it gave me five so you can see that the uh, probability will be 5 by 6 but i want to do this uh, uh using python coding so what i will do is i will just use the same probability method using coding not directly doing 5 by 6 so here i am doing length of list f here i printed list f so length of list f is 5 using length method and then divided by length of c c is the combinations here which i printed here print c so when i did this i need to pass it again four elements b b c d and pair of two i got this point 83 that that was the desired output you can change the elements uh, number of elements in a list and uh, change the value of k to show uh, to understand what's happening exactly so that's it for this session guys so before ending this session i would like to show you our platform cloudml.com where our purpose is to give you uh, learning by doing by through assignment based learning system and here you can explore our courses machine learning for data science python for data science math and stats deep learning sql for data science the best part of this course is uh, you get mentorship every day and you can you also get interview q and a packages and you can see our recent success stories by our learners so please go through this website and if you have any doubt related to this please drop a comment below or you can just contact us uh, email us uh, so if you have any doubt related to our course or this problem even just ask us we will be happy to support you thank you guys